Hello everyone, my name is Cthulhu and this is Cthulhu Picks 5. In this series, I choose the topic of Airsoft products and pick 5 items. I give you the details and explain why I chose the product. This video will be about 5 air sources for HPA. A quick disclosure. All these products are available on Amped Airsoft's website, hence all the photo icons. I have no deal with them, but they are a great company so please check them out. First on my list is the Ninja 62 by 3000 aluminum air tank with SLP. This is a great intro tank that many HPA users use. This tank comes in at $64.99. The other benefit of this tank is it comes with an SLP regulator, so no worries on aftermarket regulators of lower quality. The only downside about this tank would be aspects of the other products in my list, and you'll see why. Coming in at number two is the Ninja 90 by 4500 carbon fiber air tank with SLP regulator. This tank comes in at $160.99. The difference between these two tanks would be the dimensions and the weight. The carbon fiber tank weighs as much as the metal tank, but has a larger capacity, so you will need less refills depending on your play style. The downside would be the dimensions. The tank is larger, so a backpack is necessary to run the tank with your rig. Coming in at number 3 is the Ninja 48 by 3000 aluminum air tank with SLP regulator. This tank comes in at just $49.99. This tank also comes with the high quality regulator the other two have. The performance from this tank will be identical to the other two tanks as well. The biggest difference is the tank size. With a smaller tank, the mounting options can be limited to a 1 liter bottle pouch. The size is also the downside. If you have a highly active play style, you have a decent chance of running out of air during long running events. Coming in at number 4 is the Redline Airsoft Airstock. This product was one of the first options to replace the need for an external line. The tank that comes with the setup uses an SLP regulator like the other setups. Though the product has its functional conveniences, there are several downsides. First, the price, $250. Second is this can only be mounted to the M4 platform and requires some modification to the external body. Third is the tank is definitely smaller. This setup is best suited for a DMR role such as the SR25. Finally, we have the Wolverine Airsoft Wraith CO2 stock. Because of players like myself who don't like HPA simply for the use of an external air source getting in the way, Wolverine Airsoft decided to design an air stock that utilizes 12 gram CO2 cartridges. The system requires much less modification than the Redline setup and allows for a plethora of other stock options given its buffer tube design. Like the previous system, this setup is not cheap at $275. One major downside is the volume of shots per 12 gram CO2 cartridge. The estimates are roughly 200 to 300 shots depending on your settings. I would again use this in conjunction with a DMR style platform like the SR25. Thankfully, this system is not limited to the M4 as it is compatible with their HPA bolt system so the regulator can be concealed inside the stock. Thanks for watching this episode of Cthulhu Picks 5. Please let me know in the comments below if you agree or disagree with my picks and what you would have changed about my list. If you like this video, please subscribe to get updates on future videos and check out my team Cerberus Tactical Airsoft on Facebook. Now get out there and play.